Voters in Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state of Gujarat have been casting their ballots in crucial local elections. The ballot is seen as a key barometer of his ruling Bharatiya Janata Party's popularity ahead of a 2024 general election. The poll is being held in two phases. After today's round of voting, the next phase will be held next Monday. Results are due in a week's time. Opinion polls project that Mr Modi's BJP will comfortably retain power in the state, but any unexpected outcomes could herald a tighter contest in 2024. Nia Punia joins us live from New Delhi. Nia, the polls are being held after the collapse of that suspension bridge in the town of Morbi, which killed 135 people last month. Uh, could this have an impact on how voters cast their ballots? Certainly, and that is the worry for Prime Minister Modi's party, the BJP, that has been in power in Gujarat for nearly three decades now, which is why they changed their candidate from that seat, not fielding the gentleman who won last time, instead going with a local legislator who was very actively involved in the rescue operations last month when that bridge collapse happened. And... Uh, on the ground, there is still a lot of anger and anguish. Families saying they don't have closure because it's still not clear uh, why that bridge was thrown open to the public despite clearances not being in place. Uh, while initially some arrests were made, uh, the top management of the company that repaired that bridge have not been investigated or booked yet. And in fact, uh, the Amati party, which is uh, putting up a challenge to Mr. Modi's party, has said if they are voted to power, they will prosecute the people who were responsible for that bridge collapse. And uh, Mr. Modi's party, while facing criticism over rising unemployment in the country, is still expected to hold on to power in Gujarat. Why is that? It's uh, one of the same reasons that uh, people say things like unemployment and also the bridge uh, collapse tragedy that happened last month won't really impact the BJP's electoral outcomes. And that's because the party is uh, not seeking votes for itself, but seeking votes for Prime Minister Modi. Uh, they're campaigning... Um, under his name and uh, most political pundits agree that there is a disconnect as far as voters are concerned. They don't see Mr. Modi uh, being the same as uh, the party that's in governance. So they might be uh, upset about uh, local issues, uh, things like unemployment, but they still want to vote for him because there is a sense of pride. Um, a lot of Gujaratis you speak to are very, very proud that uh, the Indian Prime Minister is from their state, that they had a role to play in electing him uh, and making him the country's Prime Minister. And also, of course, uh, Mr. Modi has gone all out. He's held 20 rallies in Gujarat. He's uh, reached out to the people of the state, promising change, promising to address anti-incumbency. Will also uh, repeatedly, uh, you know, repeating the narrative that we've heard through uh, two general elections now, saying there's no strong opposition in the country. So if they want work done, they should vote for his party. I appreciate that, Nia Punia, reporting live from New Delhi.